Sega. Spotted. Moving into position. Neutralizing. Oh, hey everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with... Peace of Mike Lieutenant Rakir at your service. 
And welcome back to Warhammer 40k, Dawn of War 2. Still not Chaos Rising, but yeah, I just I can't select the old preview screen, the old uh, main menu screen of this, which is something I rather find annoying in some games. Like uh, with Guild Wars, for example, for example, the original. When yeah, you would yeah. with Guild Wars, the main screen would change depending on which of the in well, which of the uh, <clears throat> expansion packs you had and such. So if you only had the base game, aka Prophecy, you would get, well, the Prophecy and the original main screen. But if you got, like, factions or... Uh, I'm actually <laughs> I'm drawing a blank on the on second one, the Alona expansion, they, you would get that uh, main screen and only that one. And to be honest, I prefer the uh, factions one. And for some reason, my avatar is not talking. Been playing the, <laughs> playing the, uh, I'm forgetting the term. The with the puppets. Ventriloquist. Yeah. Okay. Give me a second to reset this. Test one two. The sound appeared in middle uh, three four five. Okay. Is it just not wanting to work? Or... Okay. Yeah. Still using the display capture. There we go. And, yep. Yeah, there's only one thing that's really different this time, and it's not with the game or anything, actually. It's that uh, Dirkir has a better view of the, you know, of the stream now, because I'm screen sharing the windowed preview instead of the, you know, uh, instead of just OBS in general. Which, well, means that he has a full screen view of it without the annoying sidebars. I will just now notice that. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue. Last time, well, we learned the fucking Necromorphs. Not, not, not the Necromorphs. <laughs> the fucking Tyranids are coming for lunch. And we are yeah, the main and... course. <laughs> uh, don't you have any special news to share? Uh, yeah, apparently, <laughs> apparently the videos of this game have been very popular on YouTube because uh, the first episode almost hit 150 views, not, though not all of the many, <laughs> most did not f watch the end, which is understandable with two bloody hours of footage. And the second one is just short of 100 views, which is, uh, compared to the usual of zero or like two views that is quite a jump yeah <laughs> yeah for like we had a few that were up to 27 such but over 100 is quite a jump yeah okay also yeah. i have some extra news something i heard today oh apparently oh i'll repeat this i'm gonna repeat this twice rumors rumors of potential Dawn of, new Dawn of War. Okay. I have not heard that, but if they are thinking about redoing uh, the first or making a Dawn of War 4, uh, we'll have to see how that goes. <laughs> yeah, for ever since what's been going on with Sega, they probably want to prioritize a new Dawn of War, for they will know that that will sell, and they probably look back and see which work that did not work. And they still own Relic. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, which of these right. to go for? Because we, we can get oh. to either of these in just two levels. Hmm? I thought we you were doing sound test again. <laughs> no. Uh, let's see. Relentless. After using to victory, the Force Commander becomes invulnerable for a short time. Or... Blessing of War, regain health when killing an opponent in hand-to-hand -hand combat. It doesn't say how much, but let's go for that. Since, well, yeah, as a melee uh, tank, this is going to be very useful. Yeah. Uh, we already also, know that one. Since last time, I have done this, we, we both done a little bit of this gun. The weird one of the Tyranids that does a... have permanent bases are the Tiamat. Yeah, it, I I think I said Leviathan instead, but it's Tiamat that's being weird and just parked in one solar system. Or, now, maybe not system, a solar system, but just in a se one sector where they're doing something. 
Yeah, actually, here's the scary thing. I watched one of the fear videos. And here's the problem with the students. Unlike other factions, they don't travel in the warp. But they still travel faster than light. They don't travel as fast as the other factions. This leads to the disturbing parts. Mm -hmm. Deep within Imperial space, they found Tiamat Tyranids on a planet. That's a problem then, yeah. Here's like, the, how the thing. hell did they get there and how the hell did they get there unnoticed? Yeah, that's a problem. And that's the scary part. Since it, I, 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 got it. I thought, I thought that when it, it, Eldor outside is approach a planet, they will still die. No. There's a massive pillars of one of the planets, size of a bloody continent. I'm not kidding. They it is continent size of that pillar. If a psychic goes near it, they convulse and die. Some may escape badly damaged, but many be just outright die. And considering and also kind of why they probably have keeping the plants alive, or they use them as cattle to fuel the damn thing. For it might actually be their own version of a webway. Okay, yeah. I, I, was, Again. I was just thinking maybe Tiamat has developed some sort of uh, stealth ships or something that they use to see the Tyranid infestations in faraway places or something. Oh no, it's worse. Again, it's a current a theory. It's all theories, but you can see why the theory is around considering that info. Yeah. Okay. It's going to keep upgrading. Yeah. Still just going straight for this advanced infiltrate and with Avatus. Heavy Weapons Specialist. Specialized weapons training, Avatars no longer needs to set up or tear down heavy weapons such as plasma cans or heavy bolters. Seeing as it already <laughs> takes him a few <laughs> seconds to set up every time, that means he can he just he can just start blasting immediately, like then in a freaking veto. <laughs> okay, and Thaddeus is just going to have to wait a bit more. Any other equipment? Let's see. Cold Mercy. I think this is new. As a Blood Raven scout, Indric Boreale wielded this rifle while stalking a treacherous adept. He remained unmoving in a sniping perch on an icy cliff for 18 solar days before granting the traitor mercy with a single shot. Okay. okay. And let's see. It's a little bit more damage. It's. Well, accuracy doesn't really matter when there's already 100% accuracy, unless extra accuracy goes into crits or something, which not that I. Actually, I don't think this game has critical hits. But, yeah. Sure. Chance to slow? Nice. Oh no, I remember something else terrifying about Tiamat. Uh, do you know, you remember Jean Steel Calls, right? Yeah. They, many of them went to a pilgrimage to the Tiamat sector, sector and survived and went out to spread the word to convert more into the cult. And bring, if I remember right, offerings. Okay, that, that was another thought I had just earlier and actually forgot right away again. Maybe Tiamat could be the source of many gene stealer cults, but then again, they've been around before the <clears throat> before the high fleets arrived. Yeah. So, hmm. People are questioning when Tion is right for. But then I think Tyran is what the first confirmed, but considering, you know, the Imperium. Yeah. A lot of information can go lost in the damn unkept and unorganized libraries. Yeah, it could also perhaps mean that the High Fleets have passed through uh, the Warhammer universe before or something, like <laughs> billions and billions of years ago or something. But yeah, yeah. That has enough been speculation. A lot of about. Oh, sorry. Uh, but it, uh, uh, what do you say? Now let's continue with the actual game. <laughs> oh, yeah. Lord of Raids, Capital Spire. Topped with gardens and public squares, Capital Spire rises above the massive urban landscape of Meridian. The wealthy and powerful sector elite work and live within close proximity of the seat of government. 
Okay, and we'll be facing more well, Wraith Lords. Commander, we have detected a major Eldar incursion. A large alien force has struck a series of Imperial Guard positions and civilian transport hubs in rapid succession. A powerful Wraith Lord Walker reportedly led the attack. The alien host is retreating, but we have managed to keep sight of them. We need you to strike before the Wraith Lord escapes. Okay, and I'm pretty sure that Wraith Lords count as vehicles. So Avertus is keeping the rocket launcher and we're getting a plasma gun for this. Let's see. Tarkus Terminatus. Tarkus earned Terminator honors during the assault on the Necron Catacombs under Therabis Plateau. Tarkus was among those selected to protect the detonator that brought the entire cavern down on top of the Necrons. Tarkus managed to neutralize a tomb spider in the critical moments <clears throat> while the detonator was being armed. With no weapon that could uh, damage the Necron horror, Tarkus rushed into the face of the tomb spider and held a frag grenade in a joint hand near the head. The explosion crippled the tomb spider but resulted in the loss of Tarkus's left hand and forearm, since replaced by cybernetics, and the heavy scarring on the left side of his face. This was a turning point in the battle and gave the detonator time to go into failsafe mode. Okay. Ow. <laughs> oh boy. If I remember my Elder lore correctly, then Wraith Lords aren't so much vehicles as they are golems being powered by an Elder Soul. Or more controlled by... <laughs> the alien walker's location is flagged on your map display, Commander. This giant wields bizarre and dangerous technologies. Our weapons will find their mark. Okay. Just gonna up ahead, reel in here quickly. Oop, pull back. That's a bit more than expected. Okay, forwards. Ow. Okay, that's a heavy. Here we go. Cyrus back, and they are not actually firing from that, so get the hell out then. Okay. Force Commander can keep being a nuisance behind their lines. <laughs> okay. With Tarkus being equipped with the rocket launcher, it does mean that he's going to be less effective against v against just troops but everyone else should be good for that I think oh even more actually Ooh, you fall back you are pretty hurt It can be a bit annoying sometimes that the Force Commander will just stand there and not actually fight back when he's being shot at. Okay, Cyrus, come back. Okay. I think we just push straight through to uh, the shrine here and see what resistance we run into. Okay, why is every little thing hot? <laughs> We're just running into every little cannon along the way up. Oh, welcome back, Rom. Welcome back, Rom. Uh, because uh, because it's 40k. If there wasn't a thousand things in between you and the thing you needed, it would be 40k. <laughs> True. <laughs> okay, sniper versus sniper, and the sniper's running off. Yep. <laughs> And <laughs> he still gets nailed in the face with an explosive shell. Like, I'm wrong, but they may have missed what you took earlier. But 
Uh, I was gonna say... Actually, I'll say it later. Right now, I'm just tired. Uh, no, I'm just gonna go buy a pizza. Okay. All right. <laughs> See, I um, enjoy it. Those pizzas you can get at, like, the supermarket that you just eat up. Yeah. Because we're gonna have soup, we're gonna have pizza, why not? I'll see you guys later. Yep. See ya. Alright, see ya! Yep. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, Ron popped in earlier just <laughs> before this <laughs> before the stream uh, as well. Okay. Let's see, we've lost one of Tarkus' squads, but we should be able to handle this, especially since we can just take a moment to heal. Uh, let's see. Can you... Hmm, can you not target that one at all? That's uh, more anti-infantry, and it's... This technically counts as a vehicle, I guess? Uh, that just means that Tarkus gets to... Sp <laughs> yeah, get to take the first shot at it. What just happened there? Oh, wait, that thing is set up already. Of course it gets the first shot. Okay. Get them to come back, you idiot, or get into cover. Why are there so freaking many of these here? Ooh, ooh, and there's a... Hmm. Interrupt that, please. Okay, Cyrus, pull back again. Probably should have captured this point here, since he'll be running all the way back now. But oh well. Okay, clear that out, please. You get into actual melee. A power sword. Okay, that's the first of those we found. Marcus, grenade, please. Okay. Cyrus, come back. I feel like I should have had uh, the Wilhelm scream ready. <laughs> it is in the, the soundboard. Movies. Yeah, I know, just... I saw it a bit too late when the Marine flew away. <laughs> okay. Oh, hello, there's Pyro! Yep. Uh, hey, Pyro Sue. Uh, yo, I'm a little late, but I made it. <laughs> Welcome all the same. How are you doing today, huh? Cyrus. Okay. You just run in the bloody middle there. <laughs> okay, apparently doing squiddy. Oh, no, that's a bunch more. Okay, I'll take that. There's a sniper in there. This is from Pyro. We are a big shielding brother. Just made a finiard as of this moon. Congrats! Congratulations, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Affiliate is the first stage, I believe, right? Also, you might want to run back from there. <laughs> uh, Excuse me, correct? Uh, okay, yeah, that that. I have. Well, I have all but one of the prerequisites for that, and that is to get three, uh, an average of three viewers uh, over a certain amount of time. Uh, yeah, we'll get there eventually. And uh, yeah, now you get to have fun setting up a bunch of uh, redeems and such. <laughs> so let's get rid of that cover. <laughs> uh, oh, hello. Focus. Focus that thing down, quick. Okay, uh... Okay, no need for that. Gotta keep an eye on Tarkus. Ex Executor of Heretics. Okay, that's a new one. Ooh. Okay. Now it's just cleaning up. And capturing. There we go. Okay, resupply. And yeah. Okay, how are things otherwise, Pyro Sue? Going well, I hope, at the very least. 
And okay, yeah, we can just sneak around the side here. Field generators are deploying now, Commander. Additional generators mm. will not be available until your next deployment. Pardon? Okay. Let's see. No buildings for them to hide in here. Though, yeah, these are buildings. Oop. Cyrus, focus that one down. Uh, never mind. <laughs> Judgment of the Khan, a power axe. Okay. What are you doing down there, dumbass? <laughs> the Devastators might be uh, heavily armed, but not the smartest bunch. <laughs> okay. Uh, Tarkus. Actually, do these, do these count as yeah, supply points? What the? Oop. <laughs> what the? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, I guess that Eldor is going to see Zinch. Or Slanesh. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so they do count as resupply points as well. Okay. Tarkus and the commander going first. Let's see. Let's start by going into cover. Devastator Marines ready for combat. Locks open. Go ahead. Okay. You sneak in. Avatus follow after. Brothers, we go. Okay. They're not hunkered down there. Now, there is a big boy. The size of it. No time for gaping. Attack. Adjust your position. Okay. Move. Enemy firing. Yep. Come back. Get out of your execution move. Or doubt not even an execution move. Okay, I'm surprised Cyrus. Face mean orcs and the elder have something similar like Dreadlords mm -hmm. with a mangled space marine inside. Like, okay, may, a mangled, he may be a bit uh, harsh, but a very damaged, uh, bodily damaged space marine. Orcs, they just take a random orc and stop into a tier kill, 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 kill can and attach him there permanently. <laughs> and, I thought it was well, gross that they got put in. Yeah, then we... Oh no, they, they, they also use a regular orcs as well at times. Okay. Oop. Way actually, you. yeah. Actually, yeah, I mean, yeah, actually, orcs they, they put in that in general. But, okay. Yeah, yeah. Some misunderstanding on my part then. Uh, I, I may actually double check it for some say orcs, some say god uh, Redskin. Where but are you? We also have here with Eldori souls inside them. Yeah. You, you, you see what I mean? They're kind of only similar. Yeah. So I don't know if the uh, Eldor that controls it is already dead or if they have to sacrifice their body or something. I think they're already dead. Out of the way, out of the way. So why were you firing on those avatars? You can also avoid the else heavily armed and dangerous for the other don't want them to die due to how valuable the soul stone is. Yeah. Okay. Avatars fall back, Tarkus fall back. They also even made Rave God out of necessity because they can outnumbered yeah. to begin with. Yeah, it's, I think it's either become a Wraith Guard or just uh, get nommed on by Slanesh. <laughs> okay. Cyrus, get back in immediately. Okay. Oh yeah, re retreat is something that uh, overall Space Marines technically do not do. But then again, the Blood ravens, blood ravens have never been conventional, huh? 
Yeah, the, I think they have done tactical retreats. But it, it really depends on the chapter. It, it, it seems that the Raid Guard is just not too interested in actually fighting the Force Commander. Cyrus, move away. Okay, it's almost down. Yep. Just in time. Warlock mentioned another Eldar, Idranel. This could be the Eldar leading operations in the sector. I will contact the fleet commander. Chapter records may hold information on her. Okay, fully restocked now, I think. Okay. And so we work ourselves up the chain of commands with the Eldar. Okay. Yeah, low fury, good, yeah. everyone stayed up, and again, just how... <laughs> I just do not get how you're supposed to be fast in some of these missions. Oh, well. Avatus is just short of a level. Well, a little loot. Commander, Cyrus was correct. I have finished an analysis of additional data recovered from our recent battles against the Eldar on Meridian. They somehow managed to interfere with our scans of the Meridian system. I have compensated, and I fear there is far more evidence of Tyranid infestation on Meridian than I believed. What's more, long-range scans show the Hive Fleet is accelerating toward the capital world. I have transferred protocols for counteracting the Eldar sensor baffling to key stations across Meridian. Commander, this is Elena de Rosa. The skies... I mean... This alien swarm is filling the skies over Meridian. Now she wakes to the threat. I... I apologize for my rudeness earlier, Sergeant Avatus, was it? The Eldar sabotage campaign has crippled our defenses. Your help in keeping Meridian secure is critical. Where is Governor Vandis in all this? Governor Vandis and the Privy Council have withdrawn to... strategize. My failure to heed your warnings has already cost hundreds of thousands of lives in the Habspires. Commander, I implore you, help us keep Meridian from falling. And the goob, oh, that's a lot. <laughs> it's quite high in infestation. Yeah, it's been. Oh, it looks like took over there. Do you see what is, what's over there? Yeah, quite the cloud of uh, the swarm, huh? Yeah, and um, that's odd people. That's a, well, spores, microorganism, and other things. So, I guess you could call it a cloud of flaming bastards. Oh, wait, wait, no. Living terror. Yeah. Let's have a look at our stuff, though. Power swords. Swift justice type. Sheath in a sparkling power field. This sword can cut through men and machine alike. Effective, yeah, effective against you know, infantry and vehicles. Uh, let's see, it's uh, about the same speed and accuracy, it deals more damage to infantry, heavy infantry though, and less to vehicles and buildings, uh, but it deals less damage at the moment, so the power of it stays. Any new armor that we can use, Mantle of Kronos, Merciless Truth, Unwavering Fury. The Blood Raven's charge was devastating. The Tau line crumbled as Bolter and Chainsword spilled the Xenos' lifeblood in, onto the grounds of Oris Tarsen during the fighting on Kronos. Battle Brother Mazes, however, shone above all others in righteous fury, butchering the fleeing aliens en masse. Okay. Quite a bit higher in defense, and it gives melee boost, so let's pick. Yeah, let's put that on. Armor or Victory. Its gorget and helmet engraved with laurels, this power armor was awarded to Indric Boreale while he, was a, his, the, while he was a distinguished sergeant of the Third Company. He put his armor aside when he rose to the rank of captain, and it has since been given to sergeants who win seemingly impossible victories. Isn't that the same one that whose sniper rifle? Yeah, that's the same one. This is a sniper rifle he had as a scout or init and slash initiate, and this is the armor he got afterwards. Okay. All right. 
health and range damage, so that'll be useful on Avatus if he could equip it. Uh, let's see, there's... Oop. Let's see, armor of purg yeah, purgation. Each enemy killed increases all damage. Okay, set to bear indelible bloodstains of the many orcs. I think we've had read this one before. Uh, this armor is anathema to the, that vile species. Let's see, we might have to start burning some of the older armors we have. Brigadine of Swiftness. Enemy melee attacks cause uh, squad to sprint for a short duration. Not really too useful unless you're running shotgun. Yes, run when you are attacked, but do so towards the enemy from the lessons of Cyrus. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It has a lot higher armor though, so let's put that on and put that away. And then Avatus gets his level. Uh, yeah, let's give you that. And I might have to start sorting this by level to see what can be thrown away and such. Level 9 scout armor, level 5, level 10, level 11, also level 5. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. Armor of the Destroyer. The Space Marines are hailed as the great saviors of mankind in their endless service to the Imperium. One of the other facets of their legend is as the angel of, angels of death, bringing destruction to humanity's enemies. Okay. Any new here? Not enough damage, so that one goes. And let's also throw this one away. Yep, that gets Tarkus a level. Um, yeah, let's get this one, so his grenades are now energy-based instead of... Uh, <clears throat> instead of a consumable and let's get actually no let's get one there and let's see specialized weapons training when using a bolter or storm bolter Tarkus learns to fire more frequently plasma guns and flamers while moving um, let's work towards this one the next level will take this but then we'll continue down this line. All right. Uh, there we go. Okay. Anyone have any armor that is weaker than, than any of the ones we have equipped at the moment? We have the plus 10 seal. So I think... Yeah, I think all of these old armors can go. And finally, Tarkus catches up on level 8. Let's continue down the melee line with him. Cyrus gets a level, so we get this one. Okay, can now use accessories while, without being detected, which is going to be very useful for sneaking him into a place and just throwing a, a demolition charge into a building. And let's oh, see. Dear. Greatly reduce the energy cost of infiltrates. Accessory slots. Hmm. Yeah, we really don't want Cyrus to get in close, so this one doesn't actually have that much use. But this one might. Any squad attacking a marked target does so with greatly decreased accuracy. So let's go for that next. In the meantime, let me sort these out a bit. And yeah, let's see. Da -da -da. M35 Magna Core type. This specialist issue weapon is slower firing than a bolter, but able to damage any target type. Right? Yeah, effective against high value single infantry and vehicles. And yeah, very high difficult, difficulty damage against heavy infantry and reduced at anything else, but still very strong. It is two handed though. So, hmm. Let's give you that for a bit. Just to see how you do with it. And that'll do for here. Okay, we can go for one more deployment. And there was something I saw here that might need our attention. Uh, let's see. Ripper plague. Veritable, veritable plagues of tyrannid rippers are emerging from underground burrows near Tiffon Parent. Shrine wounds reduced. Okay, yeah, we are going to need to <laughs> we're going to need to push down these a lot. Uh, let's oh, see. We no. need to find the tech priests. We need to find the primary hive. 
And um, let's see. I just remembered something. You? I feel like it's a unit or creature. It is, but there's a tunic creature. Of what is name? If I really, it flies and if, if it attacks you, it injects you with ripper eggs. Okay, so bad. A lot of them. <laughs> Let's see. That goes. That chain goes down the array. And we need to get these gene samples as well. Is there. Okay, we can go. This defense will still here be, still be here for a bit. And we don't want to lose our assets. So for today, we continue on Meridian. Oh, wait, it's actually in here as well. Uh, there. Uh, uh, yeah, here's it. Okay. For now, yeah, we go oh. after the Eldar. Oh, dear. No, I should before I forget. Uh, still the thing of uh, the Ripper X. When it, it, this Ripper X injected, it does not take... It takes only... A few, I think it was a few seconds. Instantly, they start to hatch and eat their way out of the body. Yeah, think like uh, chest bursters, but uh, they bring their friends. And burst out of everywhere and use you as a buffet. Lovely. Okay, let's actually give you your bolter back for the moment. Commander, chapter records do indeed make mention of this Idranel, which the Eldar Warlock mentioned. She is a Farseer, a witch leader of her people, and aligned with the same craft world which opposed our efforts during the Cronus campaign. Idranel is undoubtedly the leader of Eldar operations on Meridian. The Tyranid invasion continues all about the sector, but this is our opportunity to put an end to the Eldar efforts to destabilize the subsector. Okay, and we're going to get a teleport pack from this. Let's see, the final countdown. The enemy has grenades too. Move away from explosives thrown at your squad. <clears throat> Squads before the timer above them counts down to zero. Yeah, not all of the loading screen bits are going to be interesting. Best to move quickly. Every moment here gives the Tyranid infestation time to grow. Okay, let's go like this. Capture the communications array. Okay. We're a bit light on anti-vehicle at the moment. Actually, yeah, I, I probably should have given Cyrus uh, melt-up bombs. Actually, who has those? Uh, Tarkus has them. Okay. But yeah, now Tarkus has the frag ability. It, yeah, we're going to be able to use this a lot more. Oh dear. And since his energy restores decently fast, well, <laughs> we're going to make it rain. Corpses, that is. Okay, Cyrus, finish that one off, please. Ooh, drawing more attention. Uh, Tarkus, set up. Uh, that was Avatus. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep their heads down, deal with their cover, and they're as good as done for. Cyrus, pick up the last one, please. The rest will push forwards. Ah! <laughs> oh, damn it. That, that, time to pull it. I thought he was instantly dead there. Damn it. Oop. Warp spiders. Okay, that's a warlock. Okay, Avatus is keeping the, the gun thing down. Yep. Or he was, at least. Let's 
Cyrus, keep that one down. You actually go after those. Yep. <laughs> it's another one freaking out all over the place. <laughs> Okay. Don't push too far. Holy. Okay. Pull back a bit. Okay. Take off those and then we'll go well, poke these. Let's see. We can't get through there. This is a dead end. Okay. Yep. You go there, you go after those. Get rid of their defense. And I don't think our grenades deal damage to our own troops. Okay. No. Do they have anything defending the shrine? Yes, but not too many from the looks of it. You with that sniper. And of course, freaking warp spiders. Okay, yeah, a, a bit more than I thought there were. Keep going, you. Yeah, we're just being lazy, apparently. Come on, boys. Hmm? I, I, I'm shielding them on. Some of them are fleeing. Okay, that grenade was apparently not enough to get them out. Uh, oh, it's a sniper. <laughs> of course, those have their special units, so they have more health. There it. Prized of the Iron Wolf. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's leave those be over there. And let's continue here. There might be more troops hidden here, so we'll go to this point, and then over here to, Field generators are deploying now, Commander. to the forest Field here. Generators will not be available until your next deployment. Okay, and they have no interest in, attack in attacking the generators. Only during defense missions do those become targets, it seems. Mm -hmm. The heck was that? <laughs> Oh, there was a warlock. That explains. Okay. I missed that one. Yeah, me a little weak. Well, not me that weak. But due to the special news, Healy shared I brought some snacks to celebrate. <laughs> celebrate, I mean. Yeah. Okay, uh, oop. it's completely blocked. Okay, we can need, we can deal with that. There. You capture that. Everyone else cover. Oop. Tarkus, grenades. Yeah, you... <laughs> with them being energy-based now, we're just going to make so much use of those things, huh? And we'll just focus. <laughs> And it, you can see how effective it is. See, not just at disrupting their positions, but just getting rid of them in general. Okay, danger close with the grenades. Okay. Pull back you. Okay. A little bit back, you lot. Oh, 
Yep. Yeah, and then there's a single survivor. Okay. What survivor? Okay, just wait a second for Tarkus to heal up, and then we'll continue. I think he was thinking that I'm pretty sure that's one's dead and not a survivor. <laughs> we need only a word. Moving to cover. Be okay. <laughs> See, attacking, using abilities, we're getting too close. Ooh. Tark, Cyrus, no rushing forwards, you're a sniper. No 360, no scope, Sue. That got close. Okay, he must have taken a direct hit from the heavy platform here. <laughs> Just lose that much health that quickly. Okay, that's that dealt with. Yeah, you, you can see how fragile Cyrus still is, even with his improved armor. Okay, no casualties to recover, so we move forwards. Avatus there, Tarkus there, you in the middle, Cyrus on the sides. Where are they? Uh, there. Target in sight. Hmm. I have foreseen all your melee, but I will not allow you to bring ruination upon our craft world. It is time you learn what it is to face a seer of all weather damned. Beware her sorcery. Keep your distance. Uh oh. Throw in a few of these. Oh, hello there. She summons the powers of the warp itself. He's not active. <laughs> She's picking on the scouts. Okay. Avatus is Avatus is outright dealt with the other <laughs> the bad garrisoned one. Oh, Cyrus. Under fire. Yep, Cyrus getting <laughs> shoved around. If you pleasure in war, then you shall face an army. Okay, he's not taking the best route there, but okay. Parkas, get out. Aratus, uh, you keep fighting whatever you're fighting there. That's what I don't get, though. Hmm? They live on a croft, but they... They should just be able to just move, like... Croft has been attacked by units before, but if they are aware of them in, in advance, they're usually able to just move away. Guess that means that there's more going on here than we know. Unless they are... They didn't want the orcs to slow them down. It could be it takes a time to... Uh, the, 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 they need to realize they need to give themselves time to get the heck out of there. Could be. You will not move forwards a bit, you're just out of range. Okay, Cyrus, keep needling her with the heavy. You, Tarkus, grenades. <laughs> that won't be long, Elbar. You won't live long after this. Especially when Tarkus just keeps chucking hates into close combat. Ow! I thought she was going for Tarkus there, but apparently not. Did Cyrus just miss? Uh. 
shield is down. Strike before it can recharge. We have battled enough for now, I think. I have other tasks to attend to on this doomed planet. She's escaping! I admit I have enjoyed this dalliance, humans. I may even miss you when you are ash and cinders. Ash and cinders? Tyranids drain worlds of life. They do not burn them. Tactical squad repositioning. <laughs> Destroy the box, you dumbasses. <laughs> this victory will long be remembered in the halls of glory. Okay, oh, that's quite some resources. Okay, everyone stayed alive. And again, just how are you supposed to get through these fast? And we get another deployment. See any levels? Nope. The alien witch escaped. She laughs at us while our worlds die. Commander, I share your sergeant's frustration, but I have far graver news. I have finally obtained the master control codes for Angel Forge and have transmitted them to your ship and to Captain Angelo's fleet. I fear it may be too late to do you any good, however. Another Tyranid swarm is driving into the Forge area. Massive defensive walls guard the approach to the Forge, but the Imperial Guard forces stationed there are being overrun. Your delaying and politicking has doomed us all, Darosa. If so, I'm sure my end will be suitably horrific, Sergeant. I only wish I could say the same of Governor Vandis. What do you mean? I make no excuses for my mistakes, but I have been fighting to get those codes for you for days. The governor simply ordered me to continue delaying you, and then stopped answering me altogether. When I finally dealt with the House Vandis soldiers guarding his residence, I found he had left the Meridian system for some private retreat three sectors away. I did find the codes for Angel Forge, however. You took a real risk, Administrator. They could hang you for treason if the governor returns. Governor Vandis turned tail and left the entire sector to die. Your commander is here, fighting to save it. If anything, I was far too slow to see where my loyalties belonged. I think she missed her calling. She should have been a sister of battle. <laughs> and yeah, would, would we expect anything else from an imperial bureaucracy here? And hello, hello little potato! <laughs> Okay, there's no missions, it was all uh, oh, internal escapes, and yeah, let's see. Yeah, we have a lot more places to go that uh, we... Yeah. <laughs> no, try again, Rakir. Okay. Is it Tatum? Tatum? Uh, let's see, anything new to use? Armor of the Destroyer, we already know that one. Uh, let's see, Brigadine of Honor. Marked with seals of honor, this carapace armor is awarded to Blood Raven scouts on the eve of their ascension to the rank of full battle brothers. The recipients wear the Brigadine until their power armor arrives from the chapter armory. Okay. It's less armor, though. And, uh, I think we can throw this one out. Like The, the effect of this one isn't as useful. But it's just a bigger boost in armor that makes up for it. Plus, you know, if there's if they get yeah you know, if they start to sprint in melee combat, they can get away easier. Uh, let's see, anything else you can equip? It's the power sword, fearsome light of faith. That's a new one, or one that we had before but couldn't equip before. Uh, let's see. The light of the Emperor shall be brought to all corners of the galaxy, and his chosen warriors wield this mighty weapon against his enemies. Translated from the High Gothic inscription on this plasma gun. Okay. And, yeah, how are you doing, Tatum? Yeah, how are you doing, today, Tatum? You've been having a good day. Tarkus. Mm. Let's keep him with the plasma gun. His other troops still have the bolter, so they're still just as good against normal infantry. Uh, let's see. Tatum says, Bleh. It's called and dog the icky. Okay, so typical uh, fall weather. I, I keep forgetting which season it's supposed to be with how the weather just keeps fluctuating around. Uh, it is autumn. It's autumn. 
Mm. Okay. Do it again. We did have years ago a summer lost into bloody Halloween. Like people were actually going to the beach for swim at Halloween. Yeah. Let's see. Teleport pack. Command's teleport pack allows a force commander to forego the need to approach the enemy in a frontal assault, relocating through the warp. Okay. Um. This banner is nice and all, but I don't. Th I think he gets to the enemy quickly enough as is. So let's keep things as they are. And let's see. Defend the foundry. We still have another thing. Yeah, I think we need to deal with the damn uh, Tyranids to lower the damn infestation. Yeah, so while we're doing that, let's also get a prime gene sample because we need those for one of our objectives. Death yeah, Whisper. And we need also to free one of the fortress. Has evidently been stalking the Hablux for weeks. Now a massive infestation has followed in its wake, claiming countless more lives. Eliminating this killer would greatly boost morale among the population and help secure our defenses. Only your space marines have a chance of killing the Lictor before it escapes again. Okay. The, one of the annoying things with Tyranids is how do you identify what the hell each of them is? Because all of them are freaking bugs. That's I'm going to guess... they, they may look like bugs. But the more you look at them, the more you ask, you ask yourself, Bug? Lizard? Like, it, you will go into a... Just, just look at this one. He has a Cthulhu face. Yeah, but I meant more what if they count as infantry, heavy infantry, or vehicles. But I'm going to guess the Lictor counts as heavy infantry, not as a vehicle. And we'll just get some armor from this. So let's deploy. You can hear enemy vehicles. Okay. You can hear enemy vehicles and infantry approach even through the fog of war. Makes sense. Uh... I'm pretty sure they could make an actual Warhammer 40k horror game by setting it on Catachan or something. The Lictor's last known position <laughs> is on your map display. I doubt it will wait patiently for us, Commander. Agreed. Watch for ambush. Yep. He says that we get ambushed at the freaking landing sites. Oh dear. Yeah, the thing Lictors are more usually meant as a what do you call stalk the unit it, like, it hides around and assassinates and gather information that way yeah okay oh wait those oh wait never mind then if that if that was a big then those will then fight and collect samples Oh, okay, we ran into a oh, full-on damn base of them. Okay. Yep, get rid of those. Okay, I maybe should have brought Thaddeus along, since he's been on the bench for a bit now. Yeah. Oh. Holy! Tarkus, grenades. No, they have the, they, they can only make Zergs look like wimps. <laughs> yeah. There's also just these exploding things, spore mines. Yep. And just as I finish saying that, Tarkus says it. Okay, yeah, we should have brought something anti-building to this. But yeah, you that's one thing with this game, you go in with limited intel. 
so you won't always know what the heck you'll be facing. Tarkus. Oh dear. And yeah, since that Skullbrother was able to leave, I guess it means you can still travel when the Shadow World forges, just the Shadow World blocks out all psychic communication. Yeah. And if you start doing that, from weeks to months to years, it's before they arrive. Yeah, just keep up the grenades. And to be wondering, oh, if they, they notice a pleasant of replying after a few years, they notice something wrong. Nope. Yeah. Basically, they, they will notice something's wrong a bit too late. Because it typically so already takes. <laughs> Because it typically already takes years for communications to be processed by the <laughs> Imperial bureaucracy. Oh yeah, uh, let's not forget the legal system. It's so slow that they cr uh, when they finally come to a sentence, it may co go on to the descendant of the person who did a crime. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, we need to deal with these things quick, so I guess it is good that we brought Tarkus and the demolition charges. You get into combat. You. Hey, can the lifter be... Oh, so those things slithering around were not lifters. Nope, these are war... those were warriors. Warriors and legs. Was, uh, uh, these are warriors, yeah, but the other the ones are so slithering about. Capture. There we go, the quote unquote building done. Okay. Yeah, okay, we need to just destroy all of the structures that we found. Okay. At least we captured that. Definitely would have wanted to know that first. Because then I would have given Avatus his rocket launcher. See, warrior with barb strangler. Hey, barb stra It's all with a whip? Yep. I think that's it. it's what it's called. Oh dear. And yeah, to, to answer your question earlier, the way they know if it's a heavy infantry and such is the. Well, they follow the hard way. If that makes sense. Yeah, I'm going to guess that the, all the bigger ones are going to count as heavy infantry. Also, let's go capture these, or this. Yep. Let's do that by just charging through here. I'm pretty sure they could just walk through that barbed wire, but oh well. Apparently they don't want to scratch their... <laughs> yeah, they don't want to scratch their armor. Okay. I just realized now, from my, one of the other episodes, I don't want yep. anything with it. I guess this means... Uh, sorry, early episodes is... Not all, everyone knows about the Tyranids. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff uh, in the Warhammer universe that most of the people don't know about. Yeah. Often intentionally so. Yeah, or accidentally due to someone put the files at the wrong shelf. Yeah. Okay. Back you the... Oh, that's... Just... Just keep throwing grenades, Tarkas. Just start and never stop. Holy... Okay, more grenades. Actually, not there.
Cyrus focus the big thing. Actually, just bonk that with an ex explosive shell. You hold back yourself. Okay. Yeah. I think last time we said, uh, and at one point we said something like that the Tyranids are orcs, but even <laughs> turned up to 11 with a lot of things. Yeah, they definitely are with numbers as well. Okay. Uh, I'm sure, th like, yes, they do investors. An orc will populate the planet. Tyranids will usually devour it. Yeah. Because there's a problem when they, uh, when they start uh, invading Orc world. Sure, it slows her down. Also, provides them a lot of biofuel. Yep. Field generators are deploying now, Commander. Additional okay, generators but... will not be available until your next deployment. Wait, biofuel? I, I, mean, I mean biomass. Uh, biomass is their fuel. Yeah, okay, let's push like, through here and then just the, here. Was and there. one battle that they actually have been fighting to admit it's almost non stop until the Orc War Boss, a certain special one, go to here. Hence the meme. Old Bail Eye is Where dead. Is there. Justice for Bail Eye. <laughs> that, oh, there's the damn lictor. The heck was he doing there? Oh. Yeah, that was easier yeah, than front. Yeah, but why was Cyrus up front like that? Oh. Okay, you pull back. Okay. Then let's continue our demolitions work. Oh dear. Cyrus. There. Okay. And yeah, from here it's just cleaning up at the moment. You. That's a bunch. You set up there. Carcass, grenades. I said grenades. And that's a big one. That's a Carnivax. Oh. oh no! <laughs> okay, we, that's another Carnivax. We might need to pull back. Heal everyone, just pull back. What are they fighting? Yep. Yep. Abatus. Okay, we are getting a poor score on that, at least, on resilience. But yeah, that was two bloody Carnivaxes, basically living tanks. Let's see, are they staying there, or...? Uh, hell, I think, mm -hmm. we, I think we can uh, faithfully see this. There's a lot of living tanks in the Tyranid army. Yeah, Tyrannicus Camellio. Okay, pull back. They gave them their scientific name as well here. Yeah. And Barb Strangler seems to be a bio gun. Well, all of their guns are bio, but still. And yes, all of these have a, a Latin-ish name, I think. Yeah, I was to say Latin name, but I just don't know what they call that in universe. Okay, probably high gothic, and there it goes. Just vomiting all over the commander. Ooh. And explode? And what are the other slithering ones? I don't recognize them. Raveners. Raven Ravener with a devourer. <laughs> Ravener with Devourer. 
Okay. Um, that, that sounds like a un or double something. Okay, pull back again. We're getting a bit too much attention. Luckily, the second cornerback pissed off though. Okay. We need to clear out the area. And get Avatus back on his feet. We're definitely getting a one star on the time for this. Yeah. Uh, let's go grab some water. You and try not get to die. The... You want me to go to use some water as well? Ooh. Yeah, I've got plenty of water here already. Cyrus, focus Ooh. those. What was that noise? Good. I'm also concerned. Okay. You run back. Okay. And yeah, sometimes we're just going to have to poke and run and poke again until we were get well, until we're rid of them all. <clears throat> Pardon? Yeah. You go deal back. with that thing. Okay, uh, also something I found out, uh, I've discovered why I'm getting the achievements, even though I've played through this game before. Uh, technically speaking, I haven't played through this game before because I'm... Apparently, when I originally was playing this game, it was on the Chaos Rising version of it. And since, well, both versions of the games get access to both campaigns... Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, um... Okay, capture that. Pop these boxes for resupplies, because we need quite a few. Actually, I think we just filled up. Oh well. I said Exorcosi, bring up a pillow, and a blank my winter blanket. Mm, yeah. <laughs> kind of going counter to what I <laughs> planned <laughs> earlier, but it will. And they're gonna come call. In your seat game, strategize while your Kokom Tigrius gets all comfy up. <laughs> Not getting yellows, are you? Not too. Actually, no. Yep. Everyone get in there, then. Mm. Okay, you can only fit the camp. camp Wait, what? Yep, yep, wrong button. For a moment, I thought only one squad could fit in these, but no. Okay. What the heck are those own wits? It's okay, the Barb Stranglers are the grenade launchers, it seems. Oh, that actually makes it more fun. <laughs> uh, um. Uh, good beasties, good beasties. Okay, the buildings are taking most of the damage here. Oh, no, the heck. I can't let these are not Tiamats for. If these were Ti Tiamats, they'd be even tankier. Yeah. Okay, Cyrus, get out and start planting explosives. And yes, people, uh -oh. the other unique thing about Yamat is they are tanky. And when we speak about tanks, hello, tanky birds. Okay, apparently you can, but you can use the high powered shot on the Carnifaxes. And there it goes. 
outside. Okay. Yes, I read something. I think I heard recently the, uh, the, that someone. I don't know if it's confirmed that when the Tinas originally arrived, they did not have their bio rifles. Okay. Could be that they adapted those in later. Yeah, someone seems to suspect they may may have uh, adapted them uh, as they went on. Like they started copying uh, the other lines for their face and uh, made their own version of them. Now that is their thing. Yeah. Adapt and conquer, or not conquer, but ad adapt and devour. Yeah, but you expect them just to think by looks as being like a claw acid or something, but taking a look at the memories basically? And going, okay, these are guns. Make me, let's make our own gun, living guns. Okay, let's push yeah, that's, through that's kinda, uh, here. Freaky. Actually, actually no, that. Yeah, let, let's just push down through here. Because I get the feeling this point is going to be pretty defended. And yeah, there's not really a. <laughs> There's no really a point to just moving around here if we can just go down here as well. Another one of these hive nodes. I don't think your grenade. I, I don't think your sniper rifle is doing much against those Cyrus as he gets one right in the face. Oh dear. And yeah, all of we make structures like this, but these things are usually more meant to be. Well, there until the job is done. Yeah, when they begin feeding the biomass back to the high fleet. Yeah. Okay, drop a grenade in there. You take out the big one. There we go. Avatus. Avatus was looking the wrong way. Holy. Okay. And then there should just be a small smashing, outpost here. Smash how to sanitize and quarantine people of the each tunnel battle tyrannids. You just rush through. You get the book smashing. Avatars get closer. I was said something to be barely able to hear him. Yeah, I would. I would have preferred it if they also had subtitles for the spoken stuff. Yeah. Actually, go grab those. That pack should deal with both of these. There we go. Okay. Can stop the crusade of the righteous. Spare of heretics. Okay. I okay, five on fury for once and only two on resilience and <laughs> speed says it all. But we now have both of these. Okay, another level for the commander. And close to another for those. Commander, Meridian is in your debt again. The death of this beast gives us hope that we may stand against these horrors. Thank you. This foolish administrator clings to hope when there is very little. At least she stands with her world, unlike the governor. Your pathetic sentimentality for the faceless masses is getting tiring, Thaddeus. Those masses are the Emperor's people. You had best remember that. Enough. You have your orders. Be true to the chapter and obey. You are foolish to expect unquestioning obedience from them, Tarkas. They are space marines. It is their duty to obey. The commander is due their obedience, and he has it. But you are not their commander, Tarkas. You are their brother in arms, 
but their elder brother, a veteran of countless battles. They respect your service record and the Terminator honors you bear. But do they respect you? Do they even know you? And what of you, Cyrus? Do you respect me? Enough to be truthful with you, Targus. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can see why Cyrus of all of these is the most liked, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see. Any new toys? Fearsome Light of Fate. Uh, da, 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 the Light of the... Okay, we already read that one. And a new Power Glove. It's a power fist. <laughs> power glove is something else. You have to ask Sega about that. Let's see. Iron fist. Space Marines honored with the use of this power glove are given a brief lesson in the prayer of activation for the energy field that courses around each every such weapon. For the Tech Marines are never certain this one will remain activated through an extended campaign. Okay. So it's a stubborn uh, one. Hail? Hmm? Sega did not make the power glove. Oh, yes, it was Nintendo. Yeah, there we go. Now his memory core is worth memory core. You know what I mean. Yeah. Okay, blessing of war, healing on melee kills, and yeah, we can actually put this one away now since it, you know, it's inferior to the other, and it can only be used by the force commander. So that's a level for Tarkus and Avatus. Avatus can also use that one. Now it would have said it in his name, but it said only Force Commander. Thaddeus can use this one, though, as well. Oh. So it, it oh, might yeah, function as a replacement. Amazed. Okay. Uh, Judgment of the Khan. Uh, Jagathai Khan, Primarch of the White Scars chapter, led his uh, Space Marines to victory using lightning, ra uh, lightning raids and vicious strikes at the enemy's weak flanks and rear. Inspired by these tales, Captain Brockus of the Blood Raven 6th Company adopted a similar set of tactics after suffering horrible losses to a burgeoning orc wa, you know, wag in uh, M39. Bra uh, Brokus adopted this power axe as his personal weapon and named it in honor of the Khan. Okay, so <laughs> I thought they stole this thing at first, but no. Okay. Let's see, it actually deals more damage, and as a power weapon, it has about the same effects as the power fist. It just is it's aimed more towards heavy infantry and less towards vehicles. Let's see. Knockback resistance, accuracy, and melee damage. So let's actually take this one. <laughs> and let's see. Executioner of Heretics. 70% uh, chance to do extra damage and knockback. Plus it just deals more damage. This Garm pattern with a bolt pistol bears the sigils of the Imperial Inquisition. It was discovered in the Blood Raven Fortress on Cyrene Secundus, near the body of a murdered Inquisitor. It has proved to be an effective weapon in spite of its dark origins. Okay. Let's take that then. And let's see you. Let's see. The benefits of tactical advance spread to nearby allied squads. Okay, that's the defense, that's the protection, but let's actually go for this one still. So we'll do more damage, even though it's not his primary pur purpose. Let's see. Um, Mantle of Holy Fury. Be an instrument of fury and destroy all who stand against man, inscribed across this armor's chest plate. 26 armor, 2% chance, it is really tiny amount. But, yeah, when you're taking hits, you'll get a lot of hits. Hmm. Let's actually put that on, since it's just a little bit better. And Despair of Heretics. This ancient suit lost sir, uh, saw service at the peak of Habspire Vinictus during the quelling of the Fortune Insurrection. As the towering city burned, the corrupt governor was cast down from a towering height. The Inquisition sealed the upper levels for a hundred years while servitors incanted endless rituals of pit and purification. Okay. Accuracy, which isn't that useful on the Force Commander, at least whilst they're, well, going for melee. 
So, Tarkas, will you have use of this? I'd say you will. No new weapons for him. Um, hmm. Avatus. Let's finish this one off. So, yeah, now he's going to be firing a lot sooner. Though, what do we put the rest of these towards? I'm thinking... Oh, Avatus regains energy for every enemy he kills. And seeing as his, uh, his focus fire uses energy, that would be very useful. Yeah. Okay, and it, al it can also be extended to other allies. Okay. Uh, let's Ooh. see. Oh, the lion's roar. More damage. So, going this one immediately. Let's see. More health. 50% chance per hit of 11 damage and knockback. And seeing how fast these things fire, well... <laughs> this heavy bolter, forged in honor of Lion L. Johnson, Primarch of the Dark Angels, is said to spit out his rage at the betrayals of the Horus Heresy. Let's take that. Put that one away. Any new armor for you? Just these... Let's see. I can probably throw this one out in a bit, but let's check on Tarkus. We should, yeah, we should probably take him with on the next mission. That's Thaddeus. <laughs> I'm just confusing people left, right, and center, huh? I think he was trying to shoot you there for that. Turn that one in. Okay, Cyrus, gift of the righteous initiate. More damage already, so... Uh, bonus damage to Eldar. Okay. Many chaplains came to admire the zeal and dedication with which initiate uh, Nicholas approached battle. His perfect recollection of each sermon was punctuated through his apt use of them whispered in battle before each shot the mastercrafted sniper rifle uh, was used. Uh, that was his constant companion until the elevation to full bother well, battle brother. Okay, definitely bringing that along. Turning that one in. And... Yeah, let's just keep going this route. Initius Red Sprit. Scout Marines are often assigned to forward reconnaissance duties, not just because their lighter armor makes remaining unseen an easier task, but because they pro must prove themselves worthy before being gifted with a suit of power armor and the remaining implants that make them full Space Marines. Okay, it's not any better, so let's hand that over. And I should probably say, sort these out a bit, so that the new stuff ends up at the bottom. Okay, let's see, we could go to Angel Gate, but I think we should probably do this mission instead, because I don't know if the... If, I don't know if it will fail when it hits zero, or if you can still do it when it hits zero. And I don't think there are any other timed quests at the moment. No, there aren't. Okay, so we do this one. The Tyranid Swarm continues to ravage the Sector Commander. An entire horde is closing in on one of our automated foundries. These foundries allow us to resupply quickly and launch multiple strikes against our enemies. That advantage could be lost to us if this foundry falls to the Tyranids. Let's see. But, okay, Ripper Swarms are vulnerable to, flamer, uh, to flames, but we don't have any flamers at the moment. So for now, Cyrus, sit this one out for a moment. Uh, let's actually double check your equipment. 18, 18, range damage resistance. I think that'll be that what he has will do better. Okay. And we'll get a jet pack out of this. Or rather a jump pack. Oop. Max out a combat discipline on the squads. Okay. <laughs> oh, the full story. Uh, when choosing war gear, take a look at benefits beyond level and raw damage. When fighting masses of enemies, for example, a high power a high damage sniper rifle or power fist won't be as effective as a fast hitting bolter or chain sword. Weapons that do knockback or stun enemies may also be much more effective than their raw damage would suggest. Okay. The foundry can weather an attack, but the generators powering it are much more fragile. 
If the swarm destroys those, we will no longer have access to the foundry, regardless of its state. Then they will not fall. Okay. Set up firing position in there. Prepare for combat. Okay, they'll probably mostly come from here and there. Focus, grenades. Of course, some of the jackasses just playing oh, jump over. They, 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 they attacked the generators. Just the fuckers. Yeah. You get moving. Uh oh. I'm Arithus, get out, get gunning. I'm gonna say something like this. The Terminators are definitely the hardest supposed to be fighting so far. Yeah. Like everyone push forwards here. I don't think we can capture the other point even if we were to reach it. Not that, like we'd want to push out that far to begin with. Okay. Uh, if we do get our hands on the flamer, maybe we'll give uh, Cyrus one during one of these defense missions or such. Okay, pull back. We don't want to push too far away, otherwise another wave can get out their back. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with you there. And uh, with the flamer, we probably would want to give him some heavy arm. Really? Yeah. Really? One? <laughs> no, he's a two that's that. There, he's breaking down. That's quick. Ready yourselves. The Tyranids are. Hell. And yeah, they were going through their single files. <laughs> and the other one. Do you know that. Actually, I don't know if this usually would need be responsible for, for the repairs. Uh, if the Tyranids win, then there is no need to care about the, the, the damages anyways. Okay, and that was Thaddeus's power attack, or Merciless Strike. This can be quite powerful, but he remains vulnerable. So let's show that up again. I'm a curious. Yeah. See, keep pushing them back. Okay, everyone back to the center. Let's see. Okay. One little thing I would say about this game that could be improved is uh, if they could have it so that when you when uh, when you already have max supply that uh, it wouldn't allow you to pick up more. Yeah, or at least stockpile them in the base. Up oh, there, and there's a flamer. And Rising Fury. Flame of Terror. All right, oh. Okay, another random fact actually is part of the recent lore. But it's terrifying, but also wondering how the heck did this happen? What they then? found by accident a yin steel coat on Terra. On yeah. holy Terra. Where the defenses and security are supposed to be the tightest. Yeah, you kind of wonder how did that happen? And they would have found out accident because someone chased, some police chased a criminal into the sewers and accidentally run into them. <laughs> and and they did that, they did out all out war because they they called us well, damn it, they see us. Well, but as a grow out gun blazing. And hello there, Pika! Good morning? What? Yeah, time zones and everything. <laughs> it's evening over here. But yeah, good morning to you. 
Oh, and we've got the leader of this bunch. Not the Brady oh, right, bunch, got... these are a lot Where's worse. Warrior oh, with strangle, the war with strangler. I still gonna watch more Fury videos. Again, and the only kind you watch during Halloween <laughs> spooky month. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Pika, I'm alert while I go pick up my meds. It's afternoon, but I just woke up. So, yeah, I've been waking up in the afternoon as well, most of the like, last weeks or so. Okay. So, maybe you soon fix. Um, okay, mm -hmm. finally, three, <laughs> a full set. Congrats! And we get from. From this performance, we get two more deployments in this day before, well, the infestations continue. Oh, that's good. Well done, Commander. Losing a foundry would have been a devastating blow to our supply lines. Chapter records make reference to some sort of synapse link among the Tyranids. What is that? The entire Hive fleet is connected through some sort of psychic network. The larger beasts act as relays of a sort. So long as they are nearby, the countless Gaunts and other beasts all act with a unified purpose. Without this link, the lesser creatures revert to a more bestial state. We can use this to our advantage. Yes, somewhat. Killing one of these Synapse creatures can cause backlash among surrounding Tyranids. The problem is that there is always another Synapse creature ready to fill the gap. But killing a Synapse creature does buy us time. Okay, yeah. ba basically saying what uh, you told last stream, I said, I think. Yeah, like, it only helps for a short time. Okay, let's see. Jump get, pack. Uh, Ooh, go ahead. Uh, as, I, as I said in the last stream and other streams before, Tyranids are no joke. Yeah. Notice that I even started to roll in my arms again. <laughs> Let's see. Soaring Truth. The, let's see. The Vincent Veritas motto of Artificer Jordanos is brightly emblazed near the in, near the intakes of this jump pack, proclaiming that truth will win out. One of the Artificer's successors, however, has added Victoria Veritas, victory over truth, near the opposite exhaust ports. <laughs> Jackass. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, like... <laughs> hmm. Let, let's actually put that on him for a moment, and yeah, you can see how big a freaking thing they need to get these armors moving. And let's see, give you that. Yeah, now you can use power armor, or power weapons. And let's work to this point next. Regains health with every strike in hand to hand combat, not damn, and not kill every strike. And let's see, does this one deal more damage? No, it does not. Neither does Tartarus. It would be cool if you could get them to dual wield. Maybe if they make Dawn of War 4 or remake this one. And they do it in sim a similar style to this. I, I would heavily suggest they allow you to dual wield melee weapons on some units. Oh, you went that way. I would say the old technique, the dual wielding. <laughs> uh, let's see. Flame of Terror. Uh, as Holy Terror is a beacon of hope for humanity, so may this weapon bring hope to those facing the scourge of an alien tyranny from the activation rights of this flamer. Okay. Weapon has setup time. Does not require reloading. Okay. Let's Hello? not equip it on the Force Commander, though. Actually... Several can hmm. use it! Force yeah. Commander, Tarkus, Thaddeus, and, S and Cyrus! Yeah, the only one who can't is Avatus. And for him, we, we would need to get the Heavy Flamers. And even that probably wouldn't be heavy enough for him. But that means we may actually... Cyrus may not need the flame. We just give it to someone that's... Well, better equipped to handle the flamer for being more tanky. Yeah. Let's see. Armature of zeal. Plus nine def melee and range damage, but less accuracy. Let's see. The second suit of power armor forged under the guidance of Chaplain Elizer 
This armor is engraved with his Sermon of Pain. Let us feel the pain of living in a corrupt world until my zeal has cleansed, uh, clean, uh, cleansed it pure in his name. Okay. And Crimson Immortality. Before it was lost, this Mark Seven power armor was put on display during blood trials. Uh, we've already read that one out. Let's see. And yeah, I think uh, you could call this a bit of a spoiler as to what that uh, last point here is going to be. Uh, wait, 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 which one? Uh, this here, Dreadnought armor. We're not going to put that on uh, Cyrus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now we can see Forge. Uh, in a totally unrelated uh, thing, though, let's actually move to Caldaris for a bit, because that needs some trimming as well. Yeah, but we, we only bought enough for two more deployments. In this day, yeah. Let's see, Hand of the Hive Mind and the Killer Serpent. Let's go from top to bottom. We Commander. <clears throat> Orbital sensors have located a powerful Tyranid target. This creature of the Zoanthrope genus exists to channel the psychic might of the Hive Mind. Victory here will help us on all fronts, Commander. We will push the infesting swarm back a step, gaining us precious time. We will also gain valuable information that could help us locate a primary Hive. Okay. Minus three infestation as well. Okay. That's, let's see, Thaddeus can equip this, uh, hmm. requires ranged aptitude. Okay, so he can't use that until we get to here, which is a lot higher than I'm willing to go on a melee character or melee focus character. So let's bring Cyrus in again. Thaddeus going right back onto the freaking bench. And... Oh, he needs another level for that as well. Okay, then. Uh, Thaddeus, get off the bench, and we can give it to Tarkus. Since, yeah, he should be able to use it. <laughs> I Plus feel like he needs... he's probably hmm. better with the uh, flamethrower sense. Well, they are, they are more tanky. Yeah, and he needs to get forwards to throw his grenades around as well. Okay, here we go. Destroy the enemy generators. Warp generators enhance nearby Eldar enemies. Synaptic generators enhance nearby Tyranid enemies. Generators enhance nearby Orc enemies. Okay. Don't think that it's ever really... Okay, I may need to put in a flashing lights warning there. And now I completely forgot what I was going to say. Come you got that to scan? must die today. We know the stakes, Tarkas. The time for proclamations is long past. Okay, uh, what I was going to uh, now I remember what I was going to say. We can. We have po two po yeah, We have a point on each or an assets on each of these missions to capture as well. And let's see, destroy the hive. Okay, does that mean that we need to go destroying the buildings again? So, I think with Tyranid missions in general, I think it'll be better to just keep the the heavy bolter going. threw something that was not the organic thing. What the heck did I... Okay, no mind. It is a organic thing that... Oh. They're throwing spore mines. 
know that organic turret is doing it. Okay, Tarkus, throw a grenade the there. Go volume. But I, first of all, they were trying to throw random objects around us, but no, no. That brown thing is fitting into a tower now. That is, capture that. Okay, we'll push through here and then just go straight to the sides. Thaddeus. Deal with those. Tarkus. Um, need more energy. You don't push too far. Thaddeus, catch up. Actually. Burn. 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 Okay, the fact that he needs to set up with the flamer is complicating things a little bit. Break their cover. Kill death from above. <laughs> okay, kill 20 enemies with death from above. Or assault jumps. Red scout armor, that's probably father. You. You pull back. You meet up with the rest. Okay, yeah, mate, the flamer on Tarkus is probably not the best idea, it seems. And now the Force Commander can fly. Right in the middle of him. There. Yeah, by the time he set up his flamer, the others have most likely mowed them down already. Flame, the flamer will be better on defensive missions. Or at least missions where there's a lot of damn rippers. They did seem to do really well against these uh, buggers. Yeah. Once got going. And hello, young. Careful judgment. You pull back. You focus fire to cover. Oh yeah, look at the flame working. Okay, oh, so that's what these are, synaptic generators. Okay. All the more reason to tear them down then. Oh, that's what they meant with the info earlier. Okay. Okay. Pulling back more to get a feel of where they're attacking from instead of for heals. Okay. There's some item over there. Yes, uh, resupply, I believe. Okay, everyone right. forwards. Oh yeah, good thing we pulled back, or those would have been at our sneak <laughs> going from all sides. And yeah, no setup required anymore. Mm. Kind of having to break my plan of have going to the right first, but I will. Destroy that and then pull back. Yeah, we're facing way more ranged uh, Tyranids here than before, I believe. Yeah, like, sure, the flamethrower is effective once it gets in range of these, but these, only in Reapers, these ones actually shoot you before yeah. you get close. Hmm. 
push this way. Actually, there, break away. Just push this way. He finally gets to make good use of that flame for a bit. Arrgh. Move on. Capture that while you're at it. But we lost an assault marine. Pull back quickly, you. I just realized something I kind of worry about. Who? And also, because we've not seen yet. Why have you not yet seen Why are you briefing Tyranids? Additional generators will not be available until your next deployment. Probably because acid is more effective. Crusader Seal. Zeal. Okay. Now, let's capture the middle here. And then we'll deal with the rest of their buildings. Yep. Let's deal with this pocket first. Pocket. That is. They also screw you around so much that makes it a bit annoying to get uh, get a bead on them. Level Not eleven. There it is. Steal yourselves and advance. Oh, it's trying to attack their minds. Wonderful. And there's the hive. <laughs> Can you focus that thing down? Tarkas keep their heads down or whatever they you could call that. Avatars keep their heads down. Thaddeus, pull back. Okay, keep the pressure on that thing. Oops, never mind with that. Let's deal with those. Heal up. Fabi is just trotting along. Holy. It's hardly taking damage or it's healing from something. Probably this. Okay, everyone pull back. Where? Oh, they're running towards that one. Okay, it's a good thing that retreating gives you <laughs> damage resistance to range attack, because I'm pretty sure they were all shooting at them there. Okay. Oh, hello. There. Okay. War of Truth. Okay, I probably would have gone better if they fled to the other <laughs> assets, but oh well. You. That was a big hit. Okay. Commander is just keeping this flank occupied. And yeah, it should go down any second now. 
There we go. Are you, get away from me, it's going to explode. I don't think it actually deals damage, but still all the better to not stick around. <laughs> Wait, did both of them? <laughs> okay, I think the, the force commander also jumped there. Fire. Anyway, well, we were going to need to destroy this here anyways. Now, yeah, th these buildings keep spawning more of their units, as it says. They are spawns Tyranid units, so good idea to deal with it as well. Bring those grenades forwards. Honor of Terra. Yeah, I, I think hmm, we should probably bring at least one thing that is good against removing buildings with each uh, of these missions. You mean like a rocket launcher? No, uh, all the demolition packs. Move, yeah, move forward, you. We just hmm. yeah it, it seems that Tarkus with the flamer stays just out of reach where he can use it most of the time it seems so unless we can get him something to unless we can get him something that would uh, reduce or eliminate the setup that's the synapse generator's gone okay now focus that thing done Thaddeus is regrouping. Yep. <laughs> nice power slide there, no, Tarkus. Take your position, Turn. Okay, yeah, it was definitely. My mind is my own beast. My own. Yeah, it was definitely getting buffed by the uh, the generators. That is something that I actually missed whenever I last played today's game. And yeah, we just need to deal with this. Just burn it out. And yep, <laughs> Tarkus is getting his bolter back. I think he's having fun by burning the inside of the mouth of that thing. That's a throat burn. Let our enemies beware. And a good timing, too. Yeah, since we're just about to run out of time. Tyrannicus Anim Animus Aporus. Who? <laughs> okay. I <laughs> wasn't really expecting that to get up high. Okay. And a bunch of levels. Okay, we can do those before we end, though. It's probably and chatter anyways. A great victory, Commander. Our librarians report the Hive Fleet shuddered and screamed when you dealt the killing blow. And we are even closer to obtaining the biotoxin we need to execute our plan of attack. This zoanthrope was frustratingly close to giving us a pure genetic sample, but it has undergone small mutations. We did gather valuable data, though, and we are getting close to isolating the primary hive's genetic template. Why must we find a primary hive? Tyranids mutate rapidly, Sergeant. This is what makes them such deadly opponents. They are constantly evolving to counter our weaponry. A primary hive contains the original genetic template for a hive fleet. If you can find that, you can predict several generations of mutations. Yes, finding a primary hive will allow us to develop a poison that will kill all Tyranid variants quickly. They will not have time to adapt to resistance. Okay. Oh, how wrong you are! Uh, Surely we kill this. all of them in the beginning, but they will <laughs> adapt! Yeah, but it will still kill off a good bunch of them. Oh yeah. Let's see, we've got those. they back with vengeance! Okay, uh, let's continue down. 
let's continue down this line for a bit. Uh, power Fist. Power Fists are among the most powerful close combat weapons. A gauntlet wreathed in deadly energy. The Power Fist can rip through the heaviest armor. It is a slow weapon, however, making it a poor choice against masses of light infantry. And oh, it's not a good weapon against Tyranids. Yeah, or at least not the small ones. Crusader Zeo removes all health regeneration, 10 melee damage resistance, suppression resistance, recover 12 health on hits. Okay. Originally wielded in the scour scourging of Rad uh, Radabe Prime, reports from the battle indicate an assault marine sergeant leading the charge became imbued with the berserker rage. Each enemy felt seemed to bolster his resolve, driving the squad to retake a vital ammunition storage facility from the orcs. That sounds a bit like Corn uh, uh, poked his finger into the pie. Yeah. Okay. Um, it it's just it's nice that all the new stuff that you find gets this little shine over it, so it's easier to identify. Shielding of Righteousness, 80 health and plus 2% sight range, okay. The Righteous and the True shall not fall so long as they keep the Emperor in their hearts. The benediction of Brother Jan, given just before his death in the war... <laughs> How would you say that? Woke? 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 I am unsure. Yep. Either way, he did not get much use out of that... Uh, <laughs> his own words, huh? Uh, Wait, let's actually give and, it the value. And Jan, a very common Dutch name? Yep. Tarkus. Uh, let's move through this lane still. And uh, let's actually give you that for the moment. Thaddeus would probably be better for it, but he doesn't have the level for it. Abatus, now that you have done with that. Yeah, let's just go down this way, give you the accessory slot so you can take something else with you. And... Crusader Seal, originally... Uh, yeah, we already read that one out. Deals more damage. Let's actually equip that, since it'll deal better with the Tyranid Swarms, I think. Uh, anything for Cyrus? Roar of Truth. 25% chance to knock back. It, uh, modified to fire electrically charged shells, this shotgun is said to sound like a thunderclap when firing. Based on models used by the Arbiters in the Undercity of Meridian, it has found a ready place among Blood Raven scouts. Okay, <laughs> just... Not only are you getting peppered with shotgun shells, you're also getting zapped. Ow. Okay, for now though then, let's save. And let's go look for someone to raid. So, exit the game. And... Change the screen share over to Twitch. And let's go down the list. There, there, and there. Okay, let's see. Quite a lot of people online at the moment. We Holy. have... Yeah, we have Swal... Actually, I think I'll just pick a few highlights out of this. We have Swalbay with Darkwoods. Uh, Graham the Wolf is playing Neo. Oh, hello. Theory Pop is playing Dark. Uh, is playing Dark Tides. Okay. Uh, with the recent, uh, with the recent class overhaul patch that they did, uh, a lot of people are returning to it, and for good reason, because there's a lot more variety that you can go for in your builds. And uh, well, one of the things that a lot of Oakwind players have been picking up is a uh, a skill that basically get, changes your grenades to rocks. So yeah. <laughs> It can literally just be big monkeys throwing stones at everything. But they're all very big, so a big stone will still hurt. And yeah. I thought to say we go with the fear pop. It'll be thematic. So, yeah. Copy the name. Ignore the, the stupid same ads. Same commercial again? Yeah, I just don't... Uh, I'll have to check if there's anything with Twitch about personalized quote-unquote, uh, advertisements or not. But I'm getting really freaking sick of that bullshit. Yeah. <clears throat> and it's kind of like that was kind of broke interest for you in some games. Like, some games I, I didn't have big interest to begin with, but then I had the same ad almost several times per day. 
Yeah. Yeah, it it drew me up a wall. <sighs> One last stretch. Okay. But before we start the raid, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Pika. Thank you, Tatum. Thank you, Pyro. And let's see. That's about it. And thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And, and thank you okay. all for joining. Okay, for a moment I thought I was back to ventriloquism there, but apparently there's just with certain angles like this. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Oh and let's see, maybe there will be a, a stream tomorrow. Uh, Ram said that he might be up for something. And of course, on Thursday, we'll be continuing with this game. And the weekend, we still have our spooky stuff. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and yeah, and I'm prepping at least one game to uh, <clears throat> for us to play if we finish with either of them. And yeah, we'll just have to see how things go. I might need to lessen up with uh, Saturday streams a bit because there's a group that, uh, that I'm a part of that wants to uh, <clears throat> that wants to uh, yeah hold events on Saturday evening times, which would be at the same time as our streams. And but yeah, since we already typically do four streams in the weekend, turning it down to three, I th I'd say that's acceptable. Heretical. But yeah, we'll see if the if that group wants to play or wants to if that group wants to meet up for the things. We'll uh, yeah, I might need to drop a few streams here and there. But if they don't, we'll just try and stream. Yeah, mm. this is simply if there's the if there's the event, group we'll stream. If no event, stream. Yeah. Did I get that right? About yeah. So for now, let's start at raids. And yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. And watch out for Tyranid Rippers. <laughs> and every other kind of Tyranid. Yeah. Especially the spores. Ugh.